Look around. Technology is all around us. We use it in every aspect of our lives. It enables us to do amazing things. But what if we could go further? What if we could go beyond the screen? Where your digital world is blended with your real world. Now we can. This is the world with holograms. What will they enable us to do? New ways to visualize our work. I have an idea for the fuel tank. New ways to share ideas with each other. How are things going your end? I just put the images in one drive. Perfect. More immersive ways to play. New ways to teach and learn. So put the new trap in the place of the old one. Now what? And tighten here and here. New ways to collaborate and explore the places we've never been. Look at this formation. Let's take a closer look. And new ways to create the things we imagine. Because when you change the way you see the world, you can change the world you see. This is Microsoft HoloLens. Why Airag? Brody and I, her playing first person shooter, we're sitting there on the couch and he's driving this Jeep. I'm on the back and I'm, I'm pounding away with the gun and he's hitting the bumps and then the thing explodes. On the screen, we go flying, but there's really nothing except a little vibration. So what good is that? Like, it's, really, it's something missing here. And we started thinking about, wow, you know, that would be great if we could kind of get that feeling across. Not only do you feel the impact, but you feel the spread and you get the kickback. And it's all there, the whole experience. And that's when you actually feel like you're totally immersed. And with Air Egg, that's what you get. My name is Brody Stanfield. I'm the president and co-founder of IFTEC. My name is Michael Stanfield, and I'm the vice president and co-founder. Gaming today is a two-dimensional product. Experience is limited to sight and sound, and so we're providing a new dimension. It's a suit, it's a haptic product that provides sensory stimulation, taking the user into the game. Whether it be sound, um, sensations of touch, the idea of the impact, and Airag will put you into that experience that you've always wanted. There are three major components to this suit. There's the decoder, the exoskeleton, and uh, the sim skin. The decoder is the piece that attaches actually to your console or platform, takes the information, then it brings that and sends it to the exoskeleton. The exoskeleton is now the component that sort of has all the pieces in Airag that you're wearing, from the nervous system, which is the feedback, to the control center, which takes the information from the decoder, as well as the power supply to make sure it's wireless. The sound that we're providing is a patented sound. It's quite a different experience. We want to make it a surround sound feel, so the idea is we have six speakers, uh, two on the front on this side, two on that side, and then on the back, one here and one here, as well as a subwoofer. You're always in the sweet spot, no matter where you are. And as for like vibratory feedback, right now it's always been to the controller, so you feel a rumble in your hand. Now we're actually getting it so it's located on the specific parts of your body where it should be. There are 16 points on the front, 8 points on the side, and 16 points on the back. All right, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to test out some vibrational stuff. So to start with, I'm just going to set a value here. And I'm going to be top right. you feel that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's switch that over to bottom left. Yeah, it moves you. Yeah, it switches. Awesome. So that's pretty much how vibration works. As for stims, they're pretty much focused on particular muscles. It contracts the muscles. It can either give a full contraction or it can be a slight contraction. Once again, same thing, top right. So it just sets a value. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, I'll shut that off. How you feeling? We can see yeah, it moving your shoulder forward like that. Yeah, I know. Lifting a weight. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it for the basic fundamentals of what air egg can actually do. Uh, so what did you think of it? Uh, it, it was pretty.